Okay, so wonderful good morning everyone. So I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Uh, presenting before you this lesson is your mentor, Habeo Kleman. And if you are new to this channel, just make sure that you subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and uh, don't forget to share to others. So we have these interesting questions or practice questions on uh, forces, that is using Newton's uh, laws in order to find these questions. So they are very simple questions, but a little bit tricky. So make sure you follow me well, even as I will be uh, solving. So we have the first question, which is saying a 150, a 150 Newton's bed feeder is supported by three cables as shown in figure P4.19. Find the tension in each cable. They want us to find the tension in each cable. Okay, so let's go into the solutions. How do we find the tensions in each cable? So when you look at the diagram, when you look at the way the diagram has been made, you are supposed to do some, you are supposed to make some changes so that your free body diagram is able to give you all the information that you need. So the first thing to do, we we'll write the diagram so that we can um, make it in a way that is going to be easy for us to understand. Okay, so uh, our diagram is going to be of this form, like this. Draw a diagram again, like this, a line. From here, we can bring this line here, like this. Even this one, we can bring it this side. We draw something which is going to look like this. Then we can connect this line this side. We also connect the line this side. Okay? Then we can acknowledge that this is our tension one. Then we can acknowledge that this is our tension two. They want us to find the tensions. Tension is simply force in a rope or in a stream. Now, from here, we acknowledge that those angles, if you use the laws of uh, angles, angles that add up to 180 degrees, we discover that, of course, this one is also 60 degrees. Okay? This one is, uh, okay, this is 30 degrees. Like this. Now, from here, what are we supposed to do? From here, we are going to use vectors in order to come up with our equations. So, I will say, I will say my data here. Now, in the x, we have this tension. So, the, therefore, this tension has got two components. The first component is in the y, which we are calling as z, ty, equal to T1 in the Y sine 30. Okay? Then we also have one component in the in the X, which are calling as T X equal to T1, okay, cos 30 degrees. Okay? Positive. Then when we come this side, since we know that there is some vertical line here, which is making this angle 90 degrees, we discover that therefore this force, this 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 tension that is acting due to this side is simply negative. Therefore, we can simply say this is data for T1. Okay, for T1, so therefore we can say A. You can say T1, we have T y equal to T1 um, sine 30. You write like that. Okay. Then you say for B, we have T X equal to T1 cosine 30, like that. Okay. Now we come to data for T2. For T2, in the X, we discover that this guy is going to be negative here. 
Therefore, we can say T, T2, okay, this is going to be negative because it's moving in this direction, this is positive. Therefore, we can say T2, T2x is going to equal to, this is going to be negative T2 cosine skisti, like this, okay? This is for A. For B, this line is going upward, so it's going to be T2 equal to, T2y equal to, this is going to be T2, this is going to be sine skisti degrees, like this. Then from here, we can add up everything in the x, so in the x-axis, we're going to have, uh, we're going to add up everything in the x, and when we add up everything, we're going to find t total in the x is going to equal to, then you get this, which was in the x, set t1, cos 30 degrees minus t2 cos skista degrees like this okay when you reach here when you reach here you can take this 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 side so that it becomes t2 cosine skista equal to t1 cosine 30 okay T1 cosine 30. Now, when you reach here, we can say everything over cosine skisti, everything over cosine skisti, like this, so that when we cancel, we're going to have T2 equal to, uh, let me try to, what is cosine, what is cosine, cosine 30? What is cosine 30 divided by cosine skisti? We have T1, we have T1, then 1.732, like this. We can mark this as our equation 1. Okay, we can mark this as our, our equation 1. Then we come to the second part. Okay, summation in the y. Now, t, y, we're going to add up everything in the y. So to add up everything in the y, we know that in the y we have, uh, uh, we have t1 sine. Okay, so we have t1 sine 30, which is here, t1 sine 30, plus, then we, we also have t2, t2, sine skisti then remember that there was this thing here there was this word here which was 150 it was 150 it's here the word this thing here so we can say subtracted by the word which was 150 okay subtracted by the word which was 150 so this is equal to zero therefore the zero is here, don't worry about that. So this is just the same as T1 sine sine 30 plus T2 sine 30 equal to 150, like this. Therefore, we know that T, T2 was this, so we can replace why there is T2 with that. So this is going to be T1 sine 30 plus why there is T2 we can replace with this, so it's going to be T1, uh, 1 1.732, uh, so then sine skisti. Let's find sine skisti. So sine skisti is going to give us 0 0.86. So this is just 0 0.86, uh, 6 equal to 150, okay? Then what is the sine 30? Sine 30, sine 30, 0 0.5. So this is just T, uh, 
t.5 like this t.5 don't worry this is same as 0 0.5 okay t.5 plus t1 what is what is one what is one one point seven three two multiplied by zero point eight six six okay so if you multiply this we, we are going to have something like one point four nine nine equal to 150 like this then from here we can add up everything say plus 0 0.5 we're going to get uh t1 1.99 uh, nine. okay 99 nine, 9 equal to 150 so we divide everything even here we divide everything by that so that we can find our t1 tension 1 equal to we can say 150 divided by the answer we're going to get 75.0 newtons that is for tension 1 now remember we had this equation this equation here so we can use that equation to find tension 2 so tension 2 therefore is going to equal to this equation we had t1 one multiplied by this is three two like this therefore t2 is equal to we can get this tension 75 and simply replace it there when we replace there everything by 1.73 what do we get so we get something like this is one two nine so this is one two nine point uh, nine newtons okay so this is just how you solve this question it's very very simple so just make sure that you know how to do this it's very easy get the concept and um, I'm sure you've appreciated so thank you so much